Esquivel leads at third with two out. The 2-0 upcoming from Josh Dew. Pitch on the way in. Lions bunts up the third baseline. Esquivel charging in. They're not going to have a play. And the Ducks are the champions of the Atlantic League here in 2012. A bunt single down the left field line for Dan Lyons and the Long Island Ducks for the second time in franchise history are the champions of the Atlantic League. Dan Lyons, who threw it away in the ninth to tie the game, wins it with a bunt single up the third baseline. And there is a mob scene of Long Island Ducks in right center field. They are the Atlantic League champions of 2012. This is Long Island Ducks Hot Stove. And welcome back to another exciting year. I am so excited to actually be back. I did not plan to happen in March, but we're going along with it anyways. We got all the studio ready. We have a brand new setup here at the studio. Uh, I'm not going to be standing up anymore. Uh, that was a really, really difficult process. But I am back once again for another exciting year of baseball here on Duck 695. I want to thank all my fans that have supported me and asked me questions throughout the off season, I want to thank, oh my god, I want to thank uh, who I've been keeping in touch with a lot lately, uh, uh, Paul DeRocco, he's been a really uh, great guy, and now I'll get to it in, in a moment, but let's start off with, the, with uh, welcoming you back, it's a really great, uh, it's really great to be back here at the studio. Uh, it's actually my room, so I'm always here, but it's always great to have um, all this stuff back up. Uh, new stuff that we got. How about this logo? This logo, I got the, my cousin, who is actually running the camera right now. His name is Anthony Saida. He is my cousin, and he is a great artist, as you can see. He got the Long Island Ducks logo correct. And then you got a hot stove at the bottom. That was our design, and we worked it out. It was really great. So I want to thank him. We just came back from Rouse on our main street. And, yeah. So, other stuff. Let's start where we left off. Right the final game. Let's get to that. Let's get to some interviews by the Lion Ducks. Right after they won our championship. It's been the question of many people lately. I'm sorry that I don't have the video up. If you are subscribed to my channel, you should be seeing the video. But if you're not, you can't see it. But anyways, let's get some reactions and uh, post-game stuff from that game all the way back from October, early October, back at Beth Page Ballpark. <laughs> In the afternoon. It is insane how he just did that. 
and now he has something to do during the off season instead of his improv, which he loves doing the improv, by the way. Uh, he loves it. Uh, also, the channel I I wanted to ma I wanted to make a short little video, but we ran out of time, and I took a vacation from this whole channel for a brief month, and this is when it happened. Ray Navarrete has gotten married, um, to, uh, what's her name? I have her on Facebook, by the way. I, I'll pick, I'll look up the name, but he has gotten married. Go up to him. Hopefully he has a good, like, uh, I wish I went to the wedding because it was really, really special, apparently. And it was, uh, it was, it would have been a really good time. Uh, he's a really good guy. Uh, I'm trying to get the name up. Stephanie. Stephanie. Okay. <laughs> uh, her name is Stephanie. Good luck to both of them. Uh, God bless both of them. They are a really good match. Uh, I got to see her final game of the year, which was the championship, so she got to celebrate also. Uh, other news. What I have been up to, which I'm going to actually stay for last. <laughs> okay. Job fair. It was really, really great to be at that job fair. For the first time in my life, I actually got a job interview. I'm going to say it went well. I don't know if he's watching this right now. I told him to watch this. But, uh, he, the guy that was interviewing me was a really good guy. I knew him from the ballpark and from just being there pretty much every single day in uh, general. So, it was really good seeing him, once again, not when he's working and stuff like that. Yeah, he, we got a lot of great answers, questions, and stuff like that. And I got a little insight, which I'm not going to tell you now. I'm going to wait until the next time. Which is another thing I'm going to get up to. Next week's... Next week's hot stove is not going to be here. I know I just came here, but it's not going to be here. It's going to be live at the ticket opening on Saturday, March 16th. Mark that in your calendars if you haven't yet. March 16th, we're going to be live at the ballpark from 7 to 10 p.m. It was 7 to 10 a.m. I'm sorry about that. 7 to 10 a.m. Getting all the ticket information that you need to know and buying tickets, even. If you really want to go to opening day, if you really want to celebrate the Ducks Championship, buy a ticket for the opening day. It's supposed to be a really good game. We have a lot of stuff coming up with that, and I'm going to find out the promo list in a couple of weeks. So once I get that, I will let you know on Hot Soap when that comes out. Uh... Schedule for hot stove is basically just going to be every single week. Um, Fridays usually. Uh, next week we are just going to do it on Saturday due to the fact that we're going to be live at the ballpark covering everything about the tickets. Uh, just be there, be there, because it's going to be a really good time. You're going to meet a lot of the Dex players that are going to be signing. We're having raffles, all kinds of stuff. I'll be there filming if you really want to be in the in the uh, Ducks YouTube channel. Uh. So the final question is what I have been up to, which I did the Ducks vlogs for, but I had to stop due to the fact that it was cutting into my time with homework and other stuff that I don't want to talk about currently. So let's get to how my off season was. It was really great. Uh, between uh, celebrating the championship, um, working on my show at the middle school was a big success, and hurricanes that. <laughs> uh, celebrating my birthday shortly after the season was over. It was really great. My 16th birthday. I am 16 currently. I do have my permits. I'm due to get a license by the end of the summer, so I might be going to a lot more games. Okay, that's pretty much it. I That's all I really have to say and welcome you back to the Ducks channel. I am so excited to get this whole thing started. Uh, don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe. Uh, I want to thank, once again, Anthony for helping me out for today. Um, my cousin Vincent, who was also a real big help in any way. <laughs> you can laugh. Go ahead. You can laugh at the fact that he did nothing. But whatever. We'll get, we'll <laughs> we added him at this. We, uh, we all hanged out for the whole entire afternoon, getting this whole thing ready for you guys. And we like to thank you for all of your support. I'm trying to find the song I was originally going to play. But, uh, you know what? 
here we go. We'll just do this just to close it out. Uh, thank you guys. Uh, next one is. I just close it out. Hot Stove is going to be live at the Fall Apart. We're going to be celebrating with all the best players, all the fans who are going to be there. Please, I'd like to see all my fans. If you have fans. Um, like, share, subscribe. Thank you all from the studio. This is one of the best hot stove.